All right, hi everybody, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a Valentine's look that I am not normally a supporter of Valentine's. Um, I don't really celebrate it. I think it's a Hallmark holiday. I think it leads to like disappointed expectations. So my husband gets a reprieve from it. So anyway, so here is my inspired look. I went to the mat counter yesterday at Nordstrom's and I asked the girl to help me. Her name was Tiffany. So Tiffany, if you're watching, I gave her my channel information and everything. I am so appreciative of all of your tips and tricks and everything that you taught me um, about like color and brush holding and all of that so yeah um, if you want to see how I got this look using some drugstore products mostly Mac products um, the only thing I really used was an eyeliner and a lip like pen because anyway it's so exciting so if you want to see this look it was inspired by a Pinterest look I'll link the picture at the end and the link below to the Pinterest picture so literally all I did was show her a picture and this is what she gave me and it is absolutely gorgeous and it was so easy to recreate so if you guys recreate this and you put it on Instagram make sure you tag me um, hashtag Kate the redhead and I will definitely check it out so have a great Valentine's if you celebrate if not I hope you find happiness in yourself Bye. Or I'll see you in a second. All right, so here we go. I already have my foundation on and my under eye stuff. I'm going to zoom in real close so you guys can see it. No worries. So I'm just going to prime my lid with this Jane primer. I don't have anything else on my eyes at the current moment. I am just going to use this to prime my lid. And there we go. Okay, so I primed my lid with the Jane primer. And then next I'm going to go in with the... Okay. So I bought Teddy from MAC. I haven't used it yet. Um, and Tiffany used this as a base. However, I think, no, I'm gonna keep it. We're gonna use Teddy. And then I'm gonna use this Rimmel to tight line, right? So we're gonna use this as a base for our shadow and we're going to use this um, because I don't have the 217 from MAC, which I'm, I'm going to get it. I am. I'm going to spend the money because um, it was a gorgeous brush. So I'm just going to use this little Cornell one from the craft store and I need a mirror. Here's my mirror. Are you guys ready for this? Okay. Brought these upstairs with the girls. So you're going to use this as a base. And it doesn't matter how you put it on. You could really probably use your fingers as well. I'm just going to try and get it close to my lash line. And I'm going to tight line today, ladies. Can you believe it? All right, so then I'm going to just kind of smudge it out using this brush. I'm using the front of my screen as a, a mirror. So you have it all blended in, right? So then you're going to take a brush. Oh no, we're going to do the crease first. So I'm going in with this um, deluxe crease brush. It's the closest thing I have. And you're going to hold your brush all the way out here. This is the trick that I learned yesterday. And I'm going in with brown script for my crease. Um, this is the color that she chose. Now I had thought that this was discontinued, but it's not. So you're going to swirl it up into your crease area round circular motions. This was the hardest thing for me to do yesterday with that 217 brush. Um, she did an amazing job herself. I not so much. So what they had done was they did one eye first and then the other eye. So anyway, so there you have it. I am doing round circular motions which help blend that color in. These were the only two colors that we used yesterday. So I'm the only thing I'm going to add that is different is a, a brow highlight, like kind of color. So I'm just going in with this look and this, I got so many compliments walking through the mall yesterday. Um, yeah. Next thing we're gonna do is um, going to take this, it's a um, Princeton Select Oval Mop brush and it's just like a synthetic flat brush and I'm going to go in with Folly. Now hopefully I don't make a mess. So Folly is this like reddish brown color and you're gonna get a very good amount on your brush and you're going to pat it on your lid. Not rub, pat. So it's gonna pack out the color and 
can minimize the amount of fallout that you get. And then make sure, because I have hooded eyes, I'm going to make sure that I get it up into my crease and then use the reverse side of the brush to um, blend it into the crease. So you see how that packed on all that color? And I have very minimal fallout. Actually, I didn't have any. So I'm going to do the same with the other side. So I'm really glad that I went in. I'm just going to go in. Oh, she did a clean blending brush. So I'm going to use this is a Sigma tapered, Sigma tapered blending, and I'm just going to blend that. Um, she did use a blending brush. I don't believe she mentioned which one she used. So I'm just using any blending brush that I had like readily available. So you see how nice that looks. And that's literally it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tight line and water line. That's not it. Like I'm going to do the bottom half too. And then I'm going to highlight with I think brulee from MAC. So let's do from MAC on this e.l.f. brush. And I'm just going to highlight about underneath my eyebrow right and that's literally it's three shadows so you could use any three like brownish orangey shadows you have um, my eyebrows are always a work in progress so the color that you're going to go on the bottom with is Foley from MAC so you're going to take she used the same 217 brush I have this one from elf I'm gonna use a short shader because you're gonna go in and so what you could do is use Teddy again. So, let's, so I'm going to use that Teddy and just line underneath. Now what I learned yesterday was the technique of a smoky eye has nothing to do with the colors. And that was the, it was awesome. I remember her from uh, the holidays. I forgot her name, so I apologize. But um, I'm going to go in with the same color that I put on the lid, which is Folly and I'm gonna just smudge it out. So what she had told me was, it's just the technique. It's the smudging and the, the, um, the effect that you get from a true smoky eye. It doesn't matter what colors it is, as long as you connect it all. Yesterday I didn't have a problem with my lower lash line and the ends like I normally do, and I know I'm chitty chatty with this, I'm just trying to explain to you. So anyway, so see how that like, just smokes it out a little? I learned a mascara trick that I'm going to show you as well in this video. I'm only going to do one. I'm sorry. I learned a mascara trick that I'm going to show you in this video as well. So here we go. So I've lined that. What I'm going to do is um, I did have a problem with my water line burning yesterday because of the Teddy pencil in my eye. So um, this is my old standby, the Rimmel pencil in Scandalize. Now this brown is not a matte brown, so it's totally okay. And I'm just going to ooh, line my waterline, and then I'm going to tight line with the same pencil. Because with this look, it's key to tight lining. Tight line before I put my mascara on. I was fine with my one eye, and then when she went to do the other one yesterday, I couldn't let her do it. I was like, give me the pencil. Cause it's like something with seeing a pencil come at your eye but I'm like uh, no thank you and what I learned is if you look down and do it it's much easier so like look down into your mirror so mirror placement is key so there you go I have tight lined I'm going to curl my lashes with my new tweezer man lash curler and hope to god I don't like smash up my lashes oh this one is so nice if you guys can get this $7.99 at Sally's you don't pinch yourself so there's that so the wand that they used at Mac yesterday was this wand okay so it's this type of wand and I forget the mascara. It's essential to have the little tip with the with the little spikies on it. I don't know if you can see it. And what you're going to do is you're going to drag it from right to left. So that was something that uh, Tiffany and I learned from the regional trainer who was there, which is, she's awesome. I don't recall her name. That's who I was talking about. I'm sorry. Um, I, I remember her from Christmas time. She was at the Mac store. 
and she was so nice so what she said was to just sweep it like that and it gets all of your lashes look at how gorgeous that looks so then I'm just gonna do the top oh and she said to look down and pull up so let me try that so I'm gonna look down and pull up and then put your mascara on can you see it or did I cut it out I'm sorry I'm hoping I didn't cut it out so I just feel like I got a ton on my eyes now and that's it so I'm gonna do the other eye and I'll be right back alrighty so that's that so that's my eyes with my um, whatever on so I'm gonna just do my eyebrows real quick okay so there are my like way hello brows okay so there's the eye look and I'm absolutely in love with it it makes my eyes pop because they're really green and I love it so the brow highlight is brulee the crease color is brown script which is a matte too and then the other lid color is foley just for a refresher for this are very like light so I'm going in with cubic just because I think it would be a nice um, just wash of color and I'm going in with a Sonia Kashuk brush swirl it in and just lightly dust on your cheeks I don't want it to be like hey you've got blush on because the eyes are smoky and the lips are Wah, 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 boom. So there's just a nice, like, it's just a nice kiss of color. So it's Cubic by MAC. That's the color. I will link everything below, and now we're going in with red. I did buy, this is Trust in Red. However, I'm going to return it. I didn't open it because I just was like, oh, I had three red pencils, and I don't wear red a lot. Um, yeah, so I'm going to use this Rimmel London Red Diva. It's like four bucks. I'm going to line my lips just like she did. And I'm going to use this Rihanna. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh. Viva Glam Rihanna Frost. I was skeptical. It looks great. So you line your lips with a red pencil so that way it doesn't bleed into your other areas of your face. And just fill it in a little bit and that's that my friends and then wait for the lipstick oh my goodness I don't think I did buy a gloss to go with this but I didn't buy a MAC one so this is the Viva, the Viva Glam Rihanna oh god talk about pretty So I don't know who says redheads can't wear red. I myself was a little skeptical. And I need to show it to you with the gloss. So let me go get So that. I'm back. The lip gloss that she had tried to sell me, which is totally fine. I would have purchased it if I was a lip gloss fan. However, I'm not a lip gloss fan. I think you guys kind of know that about me. Um, so I went and Wet n Wild was 40% off this week. So I just went this morning and got Cherry on Top. It's a mega last one literally this was all she did and I'm like I'm gonna use it in a tutorial and probably never use it again uh -oh. and that was it so she put a little bit in the middle I really wanted to buy the Rimmel one but for like less than a dollar no about a dollar it was a dollar 20 something maybe anyway so there is my finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this like Valentine's tutorial that I did. Um, I absolutely love it. Thumbs up this video if you guys like this kind of look. If you want me to do more Mac like Don't trials. Don't forget to subscribe. So what I, thumbs up this video if you like it. Um, thumbs up if you want me to use more Mac products and stuff. And I really love this look. We're just going to the butcher. So. So I got pretty for myself. So I'll see you guys later and happy Valentine's Day. So Tiffany did a great, great job. And I know I'm windshield wiper motioning it. Motioning it. Motioning it. <laughs> Dirt. Um, I, I just can't help it.